I just you're know, watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as so you're trying to open a program that I recently installed. This is our ally. The problem can start because sync 120.dll is missing from your computer. It's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video till the end and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So, let's begin. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for the entire file name .dll. You can choose any results you want. I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see if you download option based on the architecture and version. To know your architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see if mine is 64 bit. And I'm updated to the recent Windows update, so in this case, I'll be downloading the second one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has other fixing methods also. As the download complete, hit open. The downloaded zip has two files one is the DLL, other one is readme. To move the DLL, first open this PC, then new volume C, Windows, and find a folder name System32, which is the home of 32 bit DLLs. Then click on the zip file, drag the DLL, and draw. I've already done this, so they're asking me to replace. Click on continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check. By typing the file name, you can see the file is properly placed in the folder right now. So job done for 32-bit users, you can go and restart your computer. Only if you are a 64-bit user, you need to do a little more. Open this PC one more time. Local link C, Windows, and find a folder named syswall 64 the home of 64-bit DLLs. And same again. Check this one more time. Yeah, the file is perfectly placed in the folder right now. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are two lockers, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable and install the program again, and that will surely do it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you'll no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.